What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through how to build a stock news crawler with Watson Discovery. Now if you haven't heard of Watson Discovery before, it's actually kind of cool. So what it does is it's basically a search engine on steroids. So you can plug in a whole bunch of data sources and search it using natural language processing and IBM's new natural language searching tool. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going to build this stock news crawler. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to head over to the IBM cloud platform and log in. If you don't already have an account, just sign up. It's free. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to start doing some really cool stuff with the IBM platform. So that, give that a sec and you should be in. Now, once you're inside the cloud platform, basically what you can do from here is you'll be, or what, where you'll be taken initially is the dashboard page. What you wanna do now is hit catalog and hit AI and then hit discovery. All right, so from here, you'll be able to spin up your new service. So we're going to call our service Stock News Crawler. And we're gonna leave our region as Sydney. That's fine, the resource group the same. And as with a lot of IBM services, you can change the pricing plans depending on what tier that you want. So in this instance, we're gonna leave it as light because thousand documents per month, 200 queries per month, that's more than enough when we're just getting started. Boom, all right, so let's hit create. And that will start spinning up our service. So and you can see our service is now being created. It might take a little bit of time to start up. No worries, we can be patient. All right, and you can see our Watson Studio, sorry, our Watson Discovery instance is spinning up in here. It's being provisioned. So we can click that for now, and I believe we'll be taken to our service, or we'll at least be able to see the full details. All right, and you can see that our service is now provisioned. So we can click on it and jump over. So from here, this is sort of where you can manage your service. You can change your credentials, change your plan and set up connections. What we're gonna do is just launch the tool. So we'll be taken to the Watson Discovery platform. So this sort of wraps up getting started with Watson Discovery and setting up our service. In the next video, what we're gonna be doing is starting to load our data and use the Watson data crawler. What's that you ask? find out in the next video. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe it. Peace.